Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the rig that I used today to uh, pretty much win the ARRL sweepstakes. Once again, in the QRP homebrew double sideband Northern Virginia category, quite proud of this achievement. This rig has been built and rebuilt many times, too many times. It's actually starting to fall apart. And um, I completely rebuilt the power amplifier section. This is now, it went from being a JBOT, and it's now the powertrain from the BIDX. Uh, this is the IRF 510, the driver, the pre driver, all right out of the BIDX schematic. Uh, it turned out that the JBOT amplifier, I replaced it, I, mi I mistakenly replaced it because I thought the problem was in the amplifier. I was having problems getting that amplifier stable. Turns out the problem was more related to the case. I was getting some sort of ground loop because it turned out, well, the JBOT would have been just fine, but this thing works great too. Here is an NE602 for the balanced uh, modulator. The receiver is kind of unusual. All NE602s for the RF amp, for the product detector in the direct conversion receiver, First audio amp is also an NE602, but we have an LM386 for the audio. And uh, we have a little BJT transistor here. We have two ceramic resonators that serve as the uh, frequency control elements. And I tune it in VXO mode. There's uh, an LM386 in here also for the mic amp. I'm using the microphone from my old Sony Walkman to modulate this thing. And the headphones are also Sony from uh, my uh, phone. My kids got me that. Here's the log. You can see I've worked 11 contacts with this thing. Having great fun with it. This is the one that's going to go to the beach with us in December. I'm following the lead of Peter Parker, VK3YE, who uh, has been talking about beach rigs, double sideband beach rigs. So this is the DSB rig. It'll be going to the beach. It's on 20 meters. And uh, again, the winner of the ARRL sweepstakes double sideband homebrew QRP Northern Virginia category. Very, very proud. Thanks a lot, guys.